What up, people? How's it going? This is Bharat here. In this video, it's called as a day zero video, and uh, we're going to be talking about what is the plan for the app, what are we doing in the seven days Flutter app development series, and a lot more. Let's start. Well, right, to begin with, this is the plan. I'm going to be building an application. It's going to be called as Trackometer. Yeah, it sounds really cringe, but I don't have any name as of now. It's in the very idea development stage. This video, we're going to be talking about how do you start developing an application, like what are the ideas and how do you go forward with it and how do you shortlist the ideas and you, you see what, what is feasible and what is not feasible and uh, we finally finalize with one, one point. So I've done that. I've done a lot of homework with this application. I have written a lot of things here. If you can see, I'll put that up in left side. If you can see now, the thing is, uh, the application is going to be nothing big. It's something that can be done in seven days and with a fast development application like Flutter, it's definitely possible. So what's the plan is, uh, it's going to be like a simple tracking application where you key in every hour of your day, meaning that say, this is what I want to do in the morning. This is what I want to do from 11 to one. This is what I want to do at four. And all of this is going to be keyed in. Well, the application is going to be smart enough to track your every activity. It's going to be, yeah, the user is going to input this, these uh, things is done or not done. The user is going to be very simple in, in, in his user input. He's going to press the done button. He has done the, in, done the activity. He's going to press the not done button. He has not completed the activity. So what this application is going to do is it's going to track all of this data and, and, and build a final, final chart at the end of the day. So how this chart is going to be like how fast, how good you are at completing your tasks that you have planned. So a period of time, it's going to make this, this application as a very, you know, like users going to interact with this application. So there's going to be a lot of uh, real estate to put on ads in this application. And that's what I've thought. So if you start, if you have an idea like this and you're going to be thinking about ways to build this, build this application, the first thing to always do is, you know, do some feasibility analysis, meaning that you check, you check the Android Play Store, you check the uh, App Store, iPhone App Store and see if these, there are applications that are similar to these. Uh, what I've found is there isn't applications that are like as simple as this. Yeah, there are to-do list applications where you put on what is a to-do list and uh, you you just actually going to track these to-do list. But what the application we are planning to do is actually very simple. It's going to, you're going to input what you're going to do in, in a say from one 24 hours a day. And uh, it's going to be just one day's one day's thing. So if you're going to finish doing something today and you want to uh, put press the done button as soon as you go into the application, it's going to mark it as done. There isn't, you are not going to put your hours. You're not going to put what you have done. It's going to be just a simple task. There's going to be done button. You click on the done button. It's going to be tracking your progress. It's going to help you in organizing what you're thinking, what are your ideas. And for me, it's personally very helpful because I have a lot of things to do in a day, starting from the right in the morning. Do you have to write a blog post? Do you have to write an article? And what is the thing that I have to do at work and come back? And what is the things that I have to do with the YouTube video? Or what is the thing that I have to do with the YouTube channel? And all of these, I think I personally write the, write these things down in, in a book like this. But I thought it would be very helpful if I can put them into an application that I can track on an everyday basis. So I go into the application. I know that for the next one hour, I have to concentrate on this thing. If I cannot do it, I'm going to just press not done. And it's going to be going as a backlog for the next day or going to back, go as a backlog for the end of the day, which the user can actually, you know, help. He, they, he can put it himself. So the, that is the whole plan of the idea. And the application is going to be very simple. It's going to not going to take any user email address or user username, password, all of that. It's going to be very simple UI. We're going to look at uh, how to build this application from scratch. We're going to be using a local temporary storage like a SQL IDB. And uh, you're going to all look at it in this video series. So the first part, first stage of any application is to look at the feasibility analysis. I, the, the, the thing that I understood from the feasibility analysis is that this is going to be feasible. Seven days of work. And the next thing you do is actually plan your work. So what is the things that you want to do over the seven days? Uh, the idea for me is to actually go for four to five days of development activity, one day of testing and push the final activity on the seventh day. So the idea from that I have written, uh, I've done some good amount of splitting up. I'm going to put that again as well, again, in the left corner. Uh, the day one is going to be, I'm going to do a base UI and I'm going to build a skeleton data is going to be plugged things. I mean, I'm going to write a oh, user is going to be input uh, data and it's going to go into the SQL DB. And the day three is going to be, you know, make sure that all of these things are uh, rendered properly to the user. And uh, day four is going to be um, stitch things together, meaning that if the application should look seamless, 
that uh, there's going to be three activities and these activities should go one back one one after the other it's going to it's going to make sure that there is no it's going to make sure that there isn't any bug bugs or that is not going to help uh, the user understand what is happening and uh, the day 5 is going to be test and test and test nothing but test day 5 is completely de- devoted to testing the application for any bugs and day 6 is going to be fixing these bugs if there are any and if there aren't any i'm going to spend some time on uh, stitching this uh, application with some ads i'm going to look at some real estate for putting rendering these ads and which is going to be my monetization option and day 7 is going to be pushing this application to the android play store i have an android uh, application developer sorry developer uh, id so i have a account uh, as well there and i have a paid account so i'm going to push that into the application app store and uh, we going to take that from there so the seven days is going to be packed with a lot of content uh, the packed with meaning that i'm going to build some things i'm going to uh, not like i cannot and completely tell you guys what is happening every minute by minute because if i do that i have to spend two and a half hours of every day talking to you guys i'm going to try to make as much as possible like i'm going to cut short it as much as possible uh, also make sure that the application is meaningful the video is meaningful uh, you can you guys can understand the code as well and i'm going to put all of that into a say 12 to 15 minute video and uh, i'm going to give it to you guys that is the whole plan all right so this is a plan i've i've done the plan i've done the sketching for the plan and the next part of this video is to actually uh, understand what is the application is going to look like so if the user as a developer it's important that you spend some time understand or do a very rough sketch of uh, what app is going to look like the app i've done run is really really simple i just put a rectangle i just put a bottom three bottom boxes in the three the application is going to shift from here and there there's going to be uh, there's going to be home button there's going to be settings button there's going to be app track tra- app activity tracker button and all of this is going to be done uh, through a very simple uh, ui it's going to be the home ui so as soon as the user enters he's going to see what are the pending things that he has he has for the day and uh, he's going to have some three important ui buttons at the bottom the next activity tracker button is going to be as simple as that there's going to be charts the chart is going to be uh telling you guys what is happening are you on track with your activity or on track with your task for the day and uh, the third actually the settings activity is going to be where you can change your settings do you want your backlogs to go at the end of the day or do you want them to be piled over the week or do you want them to be piled over a month so all of this can be can controlled by the user and uh, that's con- also going to be a good representation where the user can actually understand from the charts how how productive his day has been and the, that is the whole point of the application um you're going to be looking at some color schemes in the next video this is just a day zero video so day one is going to be color schemes what is the ui going to be looking like am i going to go for the gradient palette or i'm going to go for a say, simple um, materialistic ui palette and all of that we'll be seeing in the next video because day one is going to be completely for the ui i'm going to spend uh, one full two and a half hours to three hours of development on the front end look at how how can match these colors and how we can put the good icons in the application and a lot more all right I, i'll just take leave from this this is the day zero video as as i'm calling it uh, day zero video is just an introduction to what i'm going to be doing the app idea is what i've been talking about it's is it possible in 7 days yes it's going to be a challenge because i have not built something with 3 hours of development activity in just you not know, 20 hours of development activity for entire application it's it's a test of flutter application as well it's test of the flutter framework as well and also is a test of how i better have understood the application over these four months let me meet you there in the video guys and uh, that's it for the end of the day zero video if you haven't subscribed to the channel this is the time to do it so that you guys can keep on track with the seven days of complete data coming into your uh, coming at you so do that let me meet you in the next video which is tomorrow day one we're going to be starting as fresh as possible and uh, we'll start building the application from scratch peace out